I'm Jeremy Thomas, and my research aims to understand why, in recent decades, the numbers of most British and European insects have declined, even more than plants and birds. I can understand why it was so successful last year here. Understanding the environmental changes that drive certain species to extinction can provide the missing information to help us manage sites and encourage large, sustainable populations of these insects without necessarily disrupting agriculture, forestry or nature reserves. For example, my NERC-funded research uncovered the factors that caused the large blue butterfly to go extinct in the UK. The breakthrough was finding that its carnivorous caterpillar, after briefly eating wild thyme flowers, survives only in the underground nests of a single species of red ant, where it gorges on ant grubs for 10 months. The further discovery that changed farming practices had led to a massive decline in this essential ant has enabled us to restore its habitat by altering the grazing regimes on over 100 sites and successfully reintroduce the native butterfly species. The large blue was the first successful attempt anywhere to not just slow down, but reverse the decline of a globally endangered insect species. And the work has also helped other declining wildlife. Well, here in the Gloucestershire Cotswolds, we've got some wonderful examples of limestone grassland and areas of beech woodland such as this. A lot of these are sites of special scientific interest, so they have considerable existing value. And what's been really impressive with working with Jeremy and his team is their in-depth knowledge not only of the large blue butterfly, but also the ecology more generally. After a century of conservation failures involving insects, we demonstrated that our new approach focusing on the ecological circumstances causing insects to decline can succeed. We are at last understanding how to conserve insects under current and changing UK climates and integrating their needs with modern land use. But a multitude of questions remain to be answered.